what to do next? Um, it's the first time, I'm back in Spain, obviously. Um, I'm sitting here enjoying everybody on their holiday. As you can probably hear in the background, a lot of screaming kids playing football and stuff. Um, I'm out doing my, uh, I've got 6,000 steps left, at, no, 5,000 steps to finish my steps for the day. Um, it's a bit cooler today, the sun's in. But where am I going to go next? Well, for a start, we'll go for a walk. I've got, I've got my shopping. Um, the answer is, I'm currently looking at different things. Uh, I've been talking to April today as well because um, I want to increase my income significantly without actually having to go to the UK. And some of it will involve April actually being more proactive. Um, I know she's very busy with the kids and that's why I've sort of left her alone. But for us to get where we want to go, it's going to involve increasing our revenue streams significantly. Um, and one of the things I'm looking at doing is increasing my YouTube channels to 21 channels. Um, which is obviously a huge leap, which, but it also means somebody's going to have to set up the videos for tomorrow, the next day, the day after that, and just keep it going. I need, I need April to be researching videos for me. Um, are they all going to be on the Philippines? Absolutely not. <laughs> this is, this is, this channel is going to remain as it is. It's not going to change that much. Um, the other channels are on all sorts. So, in all honesty, it'll, this will probably just stay as my, I don't know, what would you call it, biography, I suppose? Just nattering away about what's stuff I'm up to etc um, I mean one of the things we are right now is in a better position than we were last year and the year before everyone's got full residency now we're now in a position where I've got work contracts coming in um, I just finished a recent one and they're already talking about the next one and at the same time we may be moving to a bigger house if you watch the video relating to the legal issues, that's still ongoing. Um, we're supposed to move, be moving in from today, but one of the things I will say about me with contracts is I'm a bit like a canal without the sea when it comes to legal documentation. Um, it's got to be 100%. I, I just go through them over and over again. I do it for uh, contracts like... Um, when I, out in the, when I was out in the Middle East, went through the contract for Shell Oil and uh, Carillion probably 40 or 50 times over a period of about two months. And every time we go through it, highlight something new, question mark, etc. And you just go through it and through it and through it until you're happy with it. Um, the lawyer thought he was just going to, from what I can see, just put this legal document where the owner would be responsible for zero, uh, including the stuff that's still outstanding on the property. And we just take full liability and that sort of backfired completely. Um, but at the same time, I could be out a thousand euros for it. Am I that bothered? I says, no, nah, I'm not really fussed. Um, because quite simply, if we don't move, I'm quite happy where we are. That's, that's the bizarre thing. The only thing that's upset me at the moment is I could be moving to a 300 meg broadband instead of stuck with 10. 10, which is really three. By the time you actually look at it and the crap speed it actually downloads it. Um, so, yeah, that's the downside. But at the same time, we're living in a wonderful country. This looks really busy, but I tell you now, this car park where all these cars are and along the road, give it another month, will be completely empty. I'm gonna to to pause the video because somebody's got some loud music. Okay, back again. You know, they, they had these things invented some time ago called headphones. Um, I thought the old transistor radio had died out some time ago, but obviously not. Um, 
but yeah I'm not in a rush this is the thing we're now in a position where we can focus on developing things my biggest frustration right now is probably the internet if we lose the house that we're wanting um, it's a sort of so be it um, why am I so blasé with it well moving house actually involves us having to redo half of our documentation and though it's a fairly straightforward process now it's still a pain in the backside um, that alone is something I'm not really looking forward to doing if I have to do it so not having to move home makes that little thing disappear because all our documentation is fine for now um, I'll be stuck there till April and the kids got Spanish residency uh, citizenship I'll be happy for that I mean that, that's one of the things I, a few people have asked is like oh how does the Brexit affect you well April and the kids are going to become Spanish they're not going to become British um, so I'll be here under their passports very soon instead of them here under mine um, so that sort of thing isn't really a problem I'll be happy once they get their Spanish documents done and, done and dusted um, yeah simple as that and uh, work wise not too fussed on I've recovered the money I lost earlier in the year when I say lost it was basically expenses for funerals and medical bills um, so I'm back where I was the only obviously we've lost lost a couple of family members uh, very close family members this year but at the same time it's uh, I know for my mother for example that she's been suffering for a long time so there's an upside to that the fact she isn't suffering anymore April's father for example he could have been left vegetated for a long period of time until he eventually his body gave up so from that point of view as well the guy was very active very content in everything he did he would not want to be a guy sat in a wheelchair dribbling and whatever so, so I'll try to look on the positive side the, okay we lost two people but they didn't suffer for long periods of time um, that's a, I do find this stuff in the UK a bit weird it's very selective on uh, what they call euthanasia and what isn't uh, you know it's, it's, it seems to be swings and roundabouts um, I mean if you watch the UK media relating to I think the kid was called Charlie or something it, it seems like they could have kept the kid going for some time and didn't you got all the people that have got their bodies are failing and asking can you switch the machines off please before I get to the point I don't even know what day it is and they're going no um, I don't know uh, I'm just glad that I'm not in that condition so yeah I mean we, this year is going okay so far I'm expecting things to develop a bit uh, coming up soon I'm still looking at business units here there's an interesting thing is near where we live um, there's been half a unit taken up which leaves half a unit to open up with something else because obviously well, it's not obvious but they've opened half of it as a bar restaurant um, which leaves the other half to open up with something else um, so I'm tempted on that to have a look at it there's also um, other locations which have some available units some of them are good some of them are bad uh, where we're about to walk past now I've got a couple of units downstairs which have been empty for a long period of time but it's right next to the beach so could do right, quite well with the right um, with the right products just here Um, so it's worth a look at this restaurant is quite good by the way um, we go here quite often I can smell the steak from the restaurant around the corner as well 
uh, Argentinian Steakhouse just around the corner. But yeah, things are going well. Oh, so there's um, a wings got clipped at the start of the year, but right now we're doing okay. Financially, we're increasing our income as well. It's actually up by $150 a month at the minute, um, which is probably what 140 euros. Doesn't sound a lot, but that's nearly half the rent that comes in automatically every month. So there's a lot of stuff going on. I've also invested a load of money as well in some things recently, which um, can't really talk about quite simply because it's still early days and I want to see if I can get it working properly first before I even bring it up as a subject. Um, the last thing I would want is somebody investing in something I'm investing in and get their fingers burned um, by just simply listening to what I'm saying when in fact I'm trying to test the waters myself and anything I invest I have already accepted I could lose everything um, so that's why I don't really talk about the investment side too much as you can see it's quite busy here I'm going to head home now. I think I'll we'll see how many steps of the fit bit's not too Yeah, that's okay. Um, so, yeah, things are on the up. Just thought I'd do a bit of an update. Um, my internet's appallingly slow, but this is the reason. There's probably about 20 times as many people in Lanata right now. Um, as such, everything is maxed out from the uh, internet to the electrics and probably the sewage pipes. <laughs> right, take it easy.